And hello, my lovelies. It is Tori, the Hope Dealer, and welcome to my channel, Guided Intuition. I am here with your daily guidance for May the 29th, 2018. Okay, I know already. I hope and pray that you guys have awoken, sat an intent. You've grounded yourself. You had your green tea or coffee or even a glass of water because that's what I'm drinking on right now. <laughs> See that with my little, um, with my little chakra stuff in there, <laughs> my crystals. So anyways, yeah, I hope that you guys have, you know, did something beneficial to yourself where you've grounded, said some affirmations, meditated, something that's going to keep you during the day, okay? Also set an intent, and I already know that you done woke up, told yourself, I love you, how amazing you are, Okay. I know you did, right? If you did it, pause this video and go do it, <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah. I've noticed that today, even when I was shuffling in cards and, you know, I, I used a different deck. However, I noticed today that it's still piggybacking off of yesterday because even with yesterday, it was preparing us for the full moon in Sagittarius, and I see that it is still going in that way. And if you are watching this right now, I have a personal message from Spirit, okay? Letting you, Spirit is asking you to know who you are and to believe in yourself and walk in your truth, okay? Know who you are, believe in yourself, and walk in your truth, okay? Yesterday, I talked about a shift, and if anyone can feel that shift, there is no more timelines, okay? And how spirit broke it down to me as in no more going about doing, doing things the way that people or man-made has set for us. Those walls and those dimensions are knocked down. We will not be placed in boxes anymore. Uh, listen, it's a it, what a time to be alive, okay? I can talk all day about that. However, spirit is asking you to know who you are. Remember who, who you are at your core, not the things that people have placed on you, not the things the situations have placed on you, not the heartache, pain, any of that. Know who you are at the core of yourself. You are not what happened to you. You are not your situation, those things happen, but that's not who you are at the core of yourself. So spirit is asking you to know who you are. Not only that, believe in yourself and walk in your truth. What is truth to you? Not what truth is to me. Not what truth is to somebody in the comments. Not to what truth is to your mother, your father, your sister, your, your, your boss, your, your lover, your boyfriend, your wife, your husband. What is truth to you? Not what a church told you, not what someone else told you, not what I told you, but what is truth to you? Spirit is asking you to walk in your truth, who you are at your core, your higher self. That, that period where we let our lower selves run control, because at the end of the day, they're always going to be there trying to rear up, showing their head, like peeking in. However, um, that shift that happened or is currently happening, if you know, right now, it's your higher self taking control, taking the driver's seat, okay? <laughs> That's what the lower self is in the trunk, not even the back seat of the passenger in the trunk. So we can barely hear those muffles. So spirit is telling you don't listen to those muffles or those things or people or places or things that try to put you in a box or try to define you. Spirit is asking you to walk in your truth and know who you are, okay? All right, I know that was a rant this morning, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it, okay? How I do my daily is the first three is the main idea, the three at the bottom support it, and right over here is what the day holds for us, okay, or what spirit wants us to keep at the forefront of our minds, okay? So let's go ahead and turn this over. All right. Excuse me, guys. Two cards wanted to um come out on the last one. So <laughs> also over here, I was using my new little my new little deck, my new little card deck, or whatever. It was not mine. I borrowed it from my mother, aka it's mine now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay, guys. So the first card that we have, all right, is spiritual path. And it says, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which promote you to make necessary life changes. Like I told you, a shift has occur occurred. Um, things that used to suit you, the way that you used to do things, the way that you used to think about things, that's no longer working for you. You can try to stay there however you are. You, it's not working for you, okay? Um, you're realizing that it's an illusion, Okay? If that makes any sense, you're realizing that it's a, um, you know, an, a, an illusion in a sense. Even those negative thoughts, cause I feel like someone is the message with spirit telling them to know who you are. It's time for you to believe in yourself, believe in your the capabilities, believe in that you have something to offer to the world. That the message or the testimony that is in your mouth, that is in your book, that is in your YouTube channel that is in you going out doing whatever it is that's in your heart. Okay, there is purpose in there and it's becoming clearer by the day of what that is. Okay, you have coupled with the yes. So yes, you are on the right path. You're not crazy to be questioning certain things and why people do, you know, in a sense of why people do things this way. And the only reason I bring that up is because for somebody, like I said yesterday, talking about even with, you know, how you really want to do something, but you were maybe brought up in um, a really strict Christian family because that was down in the comments. You know, um, you're realizing that the way that they do things, it just doesn't click with you. It's fine for them, but it's not for you. So spirit is saying, yes, 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 you have arrived, my dear. So that individual that was talking about that, yes, you are on the right path and it will be it is. As you keep going, it's going to become clearer and clearer and clearer, okay? You're not wrong. You're not crazy. You know, you're not incorrect. I know all those thoughts try to plague you or whatever. However, um, no, you're, you're right, okay? Now, what I say, um, it also talks about forgiveness heals. I feel like some of you are going to stumble upon some kind of truth dealing with spirituality or some kind of truth, period. And it's really going to, you know, like, are you kidding me? Because, you know, I, I, if don't nobody else know, boo, I can feel you. Okay, let's dab. Because when I came into uh, spirit, I was like, are they serious right now? But guess what? You know what? No, we're not even going to let those lower vibrations try to grab us. Because, you know, they happen. Let it happen. But move on with it. Because you have that coupled with forgiveness heals. Or it could be in a general scenario. Um, for the mass majority, I'm feeling like it's spiritual, but I'm feeling like there is going to be some enlightenment, some truth that's going to come out. Um, we're telling a business, a relationship. However, don't hold on to that. That had to end and happen for a reason. It brought you to where you are currently right now. And this glow up and this come up that you are experiencing or going to experience. So forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and happiness. So I'm really fulfilling that that could be um, to a relationship. For some of you, it's a, for a relationship. Not so necessarily spiritual, but I am feeling... For some of you, you have stumbled upon some truth and maybe things that a certain mass religion or whatever it does things is incorrect. Spirit is saying, you know what? That works for them. It just doesn't work for you. Don't look at it as that they're horrible, they're wrong, they're bad. No, we don't spread that. No one has time for that. You're woke. Forgive. Let it go. Perfect timing for that. It, it was meant to happen. It was a part of your experience in life. So don't, don't in a sense you know, hold on to that anger. You can, re you can release it because it didn't break you. You're still here. Okay. You're still here. And like I told you for some of this, this is like a relationship or business. Don't let what happened or what truth came out, you know, cause you kind of probably knew, but it came to be true. Spirit is saying, let it go. Forgiveness heals. Believe me what they did. They probably thought they got one over you or they hurt you. However, it's all going to it's all going to benefit and make sense in the end. So it's a perfect timing for you to forgive and move on because your karma is not going to be negative. Let them live out theirs. And even with that, don't even hold them to the point where oh, you're going to get your karma. No, no. Pray for them. Bless them. Send them on their way. Okay? Let me tell you something. I'm going to share something with y'all. <laughs> the day that my ex-husband... Cheated with my best friend of 15 years since the 6th grade. 
that was the best day of my life. At the time, it wasn't. I ain't gonna lie to you. At the time, it wasn't, and it was just very. However, I look on the day, I'm like, damn, I'm so happy to happen because I would still be in a marriage that with someone that we are, <laughs> we have nothing. I mean, nothing in common. I mean, oh my god, like I would just be miserable in that relationship. You get what I'm saying? It pushed me to find myself, to find what I want, who I want to be. It, it took me all of this journey into spirituality everything so i think oh my god it, i birthed two books out of it like oh thank you thank you for that okay so that's how spirit wants you to look at certain situations yeah it hurt i ain't gonna lie and act like it didn't hurt but guess what i'm here i'm better than ever i'm smiling <laughs> guess what come mm, we're not gonna get there mm, okay yeah we're gonna leave that alone but mm, yeah we're gonna leave that alone okay so now moving on <laughs> um and when I say leave that alone, I want to be very mindful of what I'm saying because, like I told you, I have spirit talking to, through me, and then I have Toriology. I have my opinion, and right now my opinion is not needed. This is let, let me let spirit flow, and you don't need to think about any get back or anything. I did. I showed you that example to show you that even out of pain can come beauty can come. Okay, so it's fine. You're good, baby. You're fine, my lovely. Okay. So, um, now going right here, we have the purification and um, detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Okay, so this is what I was guided to do. I'm doing it for three days. So, if you guys want to do it with me, chime in on the, co um, the comments, but do it at your own risk, okay? I don't need nobody blaming me or coming in or whatever. It's all about what you want to do, okay? <laughs> but I have decided to do a three-day um detoxification with just drinking water and fruit i've done it where i've just did water for like six days i attempted 21 didn't get there yet but i did six days and it was very beneficial to me um it helps your body just help move clearing everything out you know what i'm saying so i feel like um that is very much needed and today would be the perfect day to do that so i'm definitely going to do that you can you know gawk down as in many as fruits and water as you want to when that hunger pain hits you drink um you know eat some fruit but drink like a lot of water with lemon water you know what i'm saying you don't have to get fancy but just whatever just in a sense of clearing and giving your body a break to you know just cleanse yourself i i don't know i just i don't know how to explain it but i know that is definitely definitely need it and then to top off i had decided that privately and then to come in a mass so i feel like spirit is asking us to um purification and de detoxification to detox our body and our spirits and our mind right now okay because a shift is happening it's happened and shit is about to get real in the good sense you just want to make sure that you're you know up to speed with it even though if you probably wasn't that's probably where you need to be however i like to be prepared okay and if it was on my heart to do a, a cleanse then the spirit comes here and brings it for the mass so yeah guys i would honestly say do it and it says um recovery see it's a part of our recovery it's a part of your recovery. Um, you can do it. And, you know, don't even look at it, you know, as a sense of you might see the food and get hungry. Man, you are past that stage. You have so much self-discipline and self-control more than you give yourself fucking credit for. So don't even worry about that. You got this. Okay, we got this. If spirit is asking us to take action, so move fast. We already know. We already know what this means. It's movement. And really, you know, think about it. Okay. Think about it. I know that I'm going to do it, but if you're not guided to, then that's fine. However, this resonates with you. You might want to see, and even if you don't do what I'm doing, do some kind of detoxification, what, what, what works for you. Because again, it's not about what works for me. Okay, and my truth, I'm walking my truth and doing what I feel is better for me. So now you need to do that concerning you. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm having for today. Also, um... Right over here, as far as the what the day holds for us, this is my mom's little tree um, deck. I really love this little deck, even though I, I don't know how to read half the trees. I do know the eastern cottonwood. Ginga, though, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to read from the handy-dandy little book that <laughs> is actually playing in. And I was like, wow, you know, spirit is really, of course, you know, spirit is always on point. But sometimes, you know, spirit just blows my mind. You know, it just, it just blows my mind sometimes. But this card, it says this, okay? It says, 
Have you forgotten something important? Remember earlier I told you, Spirit is asking you to know who you are, believe in yourself and know your truth, okay? Walk your truth. Have you forgotten something important? Perhaps it has slipped your mind because you subconsciously want to ignore it or because it is challenging. it challenges you. Think about what it might be, then take constructive action to address it. To address it. So like I told, that could be remembering who you are. Also today, it could be something spiritual, okay? It can be something that you need to let go of, forgive, and move on. And it can be like this, you know, detoxification, purification, you know, really getting on this healthy kick that you could be like not doing. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay, girl. I like, I ate, um... My sister made me some vegetarian um, lasagna, you know, with some wheat noodles. And I knew I didn't. The spirit was like, well, sorry, I don't eat the noodles right now. But I was like, I really want the noodles. And I ate the noodles. And it didn't bad happen to me. You get what I'm saying? So if, the, if you, but now I'm just going to go ahead and do a three-day detox. So spirit is just saying, um, you know, remember, what is it? What is it? What is it that you could probably be avoiding in a sense? You know, just go ahead. Just go ahead and tackle it. Okay. Also, we have the Eastern Cottonwood. And um, like, I love this card too, because whatever it is that you maybe have forgotten, it's dealing with the matters of the heart. Do you see the heart that's engraved in there? Okay. So like I told you, it can fit in any of these categories or anything that you know in your heart. You know what it is. You know. Okay. So also, we have the um, Eastern Cottonwood. Okay. It says... There is no division between you and all the other beings in the world. Now, remember I told you knowing who you are and knowing what works for you. Listen, there's no difference. Believe in yourself. Someone have something that you they need to hear in you. Okay? We're no different from each other. <laughs> I, you know, you guys are so beautiful. Oh my God, you're so intuitive. Yeah, I be, my mom like, yeah, you is too. Don't you know that? <laughs> like you, listen, you're, you are attracted to me for, uh, for, oh my God, can I get it out? You mirror me in some form, whether I was there at one point in time in my life, you mirror me. We mirror each other. So I know whatever I have, if you're attracted to me, you have it in you. You probably haven't discovered it yet or you know it, but not really. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, also, it says. Okay. There is no division between you and all the other beings in the world, whether you consider them to be living creatures or unliving things. Learn to connect with them, to appreciate and understand them, and to honor them. And this is a message that also Spirit is telling me. Even with that, you learn from them, okay? Like, don't you don't have to cr criticize that person. It works for them. It just doesn't work for you. That's fine. Honor them. I love this place. that when you in Rome, you do what Romans do. <laughs> but guess what? When I get out of Rome, I'm going right back to me. <laughs> like seriously so i hope that this message has has brought you guys some kind of clarity some kind of understanding i love you guys you guys are amazing i'm gonna stop singing or attempting to sing i just want to let you guys guys know go out have an amazing day expect miracles expect great things to happen to you okay and i will see you soon in one of my videos <laughs> bye my lovelies also so sorry Personal readings, I am almost done, okay? And then I will not be booking this week. I was, if you book a reading with me, it will be for next week sometime. We'll, we'll email that and get that all um, situated because I am doing my um, monthlies this week. And I have like three personal clients that I need to meet with today and physical. So yeah, it's, that's just gonna be too much on me. Also, um, I if you send me an email, I have not checked my emails yet because like, I'll say, like, I'm not going to check it, and then I'll check it, and I end up writing and responding and doing all that, and I just want to make sure that I don't, like, overdo it, so I'm purposely not going in emails, okay? You're going to get your reading, but I'm not reading anything, okay? <laughs> but once I get what I needs to be done first out the way, I will resume back to my emails and checking and doing all that things, okay? 
So yeah, that's all. I just wanted to let you guys know. All right, bye-bye.